one question for you. Yeah. I know you were you the one that produced Shakoma? Definitely. I did that. Who wrote the, the song? The writing of the song, I, I cannot confirm exactly who. I just know that the song was ready when uh, Idris came to me. Idris said, my name is Remedy. I have gone to Clink Studios to look for Albert Kalu to make this production in Adeniro Gusoya. We were always around Adeniro Gusoya and Dolphin Studios because that's where I got my jingle and commercial productions. I learned from TBS under Mr. Tunde Ajijedi, and that's where I learned production. And so I moved back to Surulere where I lived newly, and I, I, I did my jobs between Dolphin Studios and Kling Studios. Now he went to Kling to look for Albert Kalu. Albert Kalu, he, he was one of the producers that I really respect in the industry. We know each other. Yeah, Albert was not around. So they, t they told him, what you've described that you want to do, we know somebody that can do it since you can't find Albert. Go to Dolphin Studios and look for Omololu. He comes around. I think he arrived in a tracksuit. Oh, my name is Remedy. I'm from Kano. I have a recording to make. Yeah. So by, by that time, I took him upstairs to the Studio A, the main studio. Okay, let me hear the song. And then so he flows that particular track to me. It sounded like a, a song that was already written you know, till the end. So while he was rapping, I, I, he sang the chorus as well. So he, he pauses and says, look, I'm gonna need somebody to sing while I do my rapping on this recording. We had just done a soundtrack for Rampage. Rampage was a movie that showed in all the universities or many, or many universities in, in Nigeria. So I, I recorded an, a, a song. The major song for that soundtrack was recorded uh, by uh, Big Jin. Big Jin is a rapper in, in Yabatek al alongside Eddie. Now, I remember Big Jin's name and how to contact Big Jin, but me and Eddie didn't talk much, so I didn't know where he was going to get Eddie from. So when I played the song to him, I said, I know a voice that can match what you're doing. He liked this right away. I said, oh, I like, I like that voice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to work with that. I, I would like to work with that person. How do I get him? I said, go to Yabatek, ask for Big Jin, once you see Big Jane, you will look at Eddie. That was how this whole thing started. And then we had our verbal agreement about how we we're going to do the recording. He never came to me that I'm doing a demo. He came to me that I'm doing a recording because I just had Mr. Benga saying it was a demo. No, we had an agreement for a recording. You went to a music producer, not a demo maker. You were seeking a, a, a big time music producer in Albert Kalu. You couldn't find him. I was the guy that was coming up. I was bubbling up. You came to me. We did it. We had an agreement to have a recording. You know. Now he's claiming that it was a demo. Okay, let's even accept accept that it was a demo, a demo that I was I already booked a talking drum session to 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 complete. It. That was going to be the last session. So you took the demo that I produced. You ran away to go re record the same talking drum that I had, I had a session booked for. You booked another studio to record that talking drum in addition to the sound that I created that I produced. You released so what you call a demo in addition to a talking drum. Who produced the demo? Hmm. It's a simple question. Who produced the demo then? Look, I'm known at that time until now, many of the people who follow my career, they know me as somebody who, 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 is, who easily creates fusions. I'm known for fusions. To, to, to create a fusion between two or three genres of music. So creating uh, my new Shakomo wasn't going to be rocket science stuff for me. I did many things similar to that. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so we, we created that fusion. It wasn't, it wasn't a rocket science thing for me to do. Now, I did all of that. You call it a demo. And now you, you say you, you ran away with it and, and, and added a talking drum. But you released my demo. So who produced the demo that you released? That was my question for him. Oh yeah, Tony, Oti Remy, I can do maybe 10 more minutes, Ma. Over to Is you. Is someone Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, okay. yeah. I can't see him from here, actually. Just talk. 
He can see you and I can see you. If, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, please, let me just quickly, quickly ask something. I, 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 I am aware of how Tony was treated. I don't know too many details, but I, I do find of that in the studio, that he wasn't that comfortable. And I, 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 I think I remember a talk uh, that, that was, uh, that goes like this. Uh, some of the money that is being sent, that is being spent on this project that I brought was meant for me to travel to the U.S. or something like that. Do you understand? So I, 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 I heard some other stories about that, of things that were happening when they went to shows. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, to, uh, sorry to cut you short, eh? Yeah, yeah. Sorry to cut you short. The day we, the day uh, Shankoma was recorded, yeah. how many people came to the studio to record? At least, I think I saw all of you, the three of you. I, I saw the three of you. And probably you had some of your boys. Your brother was there, the one that drives with you. No, I mean among the remedies. How many yeah, of yeah. us? How many of us? How many? How many people among the remedies were there? All three of you were there to, to, towards the last, the end of the session. But he just came first. If it was alone in the first session that I do, did, where I sampled, I, I extended the sample, the librarian okay, that, girl. That, that was that was before. He brought us, right? We came with him. Before he brought you. Yes. Thank you. Freeze, tell you here. Daddy Freeze, you here? Yes, I did here. Thank you so much, Amadolu. So die. At least with all this heavy, I think we might have to convene again tomorrow. And consider it matter. No, no, no problem. You know me. God bless. Naga. We need to bring, we need to bring Boega and Boega back. And anybody else who has important information, please reach out to Idris. I'm not fighting with Idris. Just one last thing. Just one last thing. We just, just want to bring thing. Idris yeah. to reach out. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, please. Just one last thing. Ayoshona has told something that it was uh jasmine olofni and some other person that wrote a commotion is that true I've me i heard that really. me i, I don't know about that too must be since they are, they, i had a they had plans for shakomo before i met them okay. i had I, it was a robot i don't have the details but i heard something linked jasmine with shakomo but i don't know the details but i have something when it comes to the lyrics, I, I, I did no, I have no contribution to the lyrics. But the sound, nobody is gonna take that away from me because I did it. Okay. I did it. So when it comes to the sound, you're saying it wasn't being aware, it was Omolulu. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Omolulu that produced Shakomo. When we took it to Ray Power, they added uh, some talking drama to it. Yeah. Omolulu produced it. I still, I still have, I All still right. have a this start. Let us end for tonight and again. Omolulu, God bless you. Tony, God bless you. Everybody, thank you so much. God bless you all.